What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Fish and Fowl Florida. My name is Josh LaPresse and today we are going to be throwing the Snook Snacks Baby Bucktail spot hopping in hopes to catch some peacock bass. These guys come in many different sizes and colors so I'm going to try them out today and I'll see you guys at the first spot. All right well we made it to the first spot. We got the quarter ounce chartreuse tied on. Let's see if we can make it happen. Today I'm using my ultralight setup. I'm using a Berkley lightning trout stick with a 500 Shimano Sedona, six pound mono. Let's see what we can do. First fish. I think it's a peacock. Absolutely smoked the chartreuse bucktail. Not a bad one either. I think we foul hooked him. Yeah. Definitely went for it though. Gotta play him light with the six pound line. Not a bad first fish though. He's fighting extra hard because I got him foul hooked. Making it extra interesting. There's another peacock right on him. Let's get this fish up and off. First fish on the chartreuse bucktail. Nice male peacock bass. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can't hook one the right way this time. Fish was hot on it. We're not fighting very much. Flip. It's another beautiful fish. Another nice male peacock. Pop that right out. Beautiful fish. Ooh. There he goes. That's number two. Oh no. I might be going in to get that one, fellas. Yep. <sighs> Croc game strong. Here's fish number three. Another nice peacock. Oh, well, there he went right there. I 
count it. Oh, a different bite. Fish number four. Mine cichlid. Flip. Not a bad size one. Looks like he's got some sort of parasite on him. There you go, fish number four, cichlid of the Mayan variety. There he goes. Oh, oh he came off. Uh, species number three, largemouth bass. That would have been fish number five. But we're still on fish number four. Can't count that one. Fish number five. Another nice peacock. Yep. What? Fish number five, another nice peacock bass. Fish number six, probably the biggest peacock of the day so far. Jesus. That's a nice one. Right in the top of the head. guy's giving me his all. Wow. Don't try to flip like that with six pound. Well, probably close to four pound peacock. Biggest one of the day so far, right in the top of the head on the chartreuse quarter ounce Snook Snacks Bucktail. Let's give this guy a good release. He gave me a good fight. He's ready to go though. There he goes. Number seven. Another nice peacock bass. Let's see if we can get this one in here quicker. One more.
short jump. Flip. Fish number seven. Fish number eight. Chartreuse, snook snacks, bugtail, quarter ounce, absolutely slaying the peacocks today. Flip. Fish number eight, another nice peacock bass. There he goes. Fish number nine, trying to get me in the stuff. I think he's got me, this might not be good. Nope, I think he got off. All right, well that fish hung me up in the pads and I had to break off the chartreuse quarter ounce. So now we're throwing the all white 3 8 ounce. Well, another peacock. First first one on the uh, all white 3 8 ounce. Snook snacks bucktail. It's actually a nicer one. Flip. Yeah, not a bad one. Officially fish number nine. Like I said, first one on the all white 3 8 ounce bucktail. Beautiful fish. And there he goes. And there's fish number 10. Fish number two on the all white. Three eighths ounce bucktail flip. Beautiful little peacock bass. Hook came right out. Beautiful fish. And there she goes. Fish number 11, pretty decent sized peacock on the all white 3 8 ounce bucktail. This guy's gonna take me for a ride. Beautiful fish. Flip. Man, these flips on the ultralight are not easy, but there it is. Hook come right out. Number 11, another nice two to three pound or so peacock. And there she goes. All right, well, we're back at the house after a couple action-packed hours of peacock bass fishing with the Snook Snacks Bucktail. And I'll tell you what, this thing is absolutely awesome. The footage speaks for itself. Um, the only thing I was really looking for when I was fishing this guy is the hook strength and obviously 
it's like a 4x hook and this thing isn't going to bend out with any peacocks with that being said the applications with this are endless you could fish this off the beach you could fish this in the bridges you could fish this in the flats today i was using it bouncing beds for peacock bass and it was absolutely awesome um you can also fish this thing with a trailer today i was fishing it plain and as you can see it did no difference the peacock bass absolutely loved it i caught up to three species or hooked up to three species and um yeah the possibilities with this guy are endless well that's all i have for today's video if you guys want to pick up a bucktail for yourself i will leave a link to snook snacks in the description below if you guys want to support the channel, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. It would be very much appreciated. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my at will be in the description as well so you can follow me there. But until next time, catch you guys later.